Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again with another two-part 4,600 FIFA point pack opening. Now I know that uh, some of you may be like, uh, Cheers, in your first big pack opening, didn't you say you weren't going to do many this year? And you would be correct. I did say I wasn't going to do many this year, but as I'm sure a lot of you will know, some of us were overcharged for uh, for the 4,600 FIFA point package, and uh, we were able to uh, to get in contact with Microsoft support and EA etc. and get a full refund. So therefore, I'm then just literally respending the money that I spent before, and uh, we got a tidy start to uh, to Ultimate Team. So let's jump straight in again, as with before. We'll do 2,300-ish FIFA points in part one, and then in the second part we will do 2,300 FIFA points also in part two so uh, of course last time our best player that we managed to pull was in form uh, I'm just gonna send everything to club that uh, I don't actually have so uh, that's the way this is gonna go down to uh, to start off with but if you remember from part one of the first uh, 4600 FIFA point pack opening our best player that we pulled in part one was in form Leighton Baines so if we could pull another in form in this one or at least a player of that sort of value he goes for around 50,000 coins then that would be absolutely superb and now we pull a Kevin Prince Boateng very very nice indeed I did actually use him in a squad builder on uh, on random FIFA videos recently so if you haven't seen that do feel free to check their channel page for that video I may in fact use him in a Bundesliga squad builder that might be coming coming up on my channel in the next few days potentially next week actually if uh, it depends how how much time I have to get around to uh, to recording uh, an extra squad builder you'll have seen a Brazilian squad builder recently uh, I am also in the works of building a Belgian squad builder as we call Adel to Rapt uh, I do have a Belgian squad builder you may have seen that already you may have not seen that already I'm not too sure when that will be going out but uh, oh we've got a duplicate sorry Mr Pan you are you are off but uh, yeah, that you may have seen that, you may have not have seen that already. But nonetheless, we uh, we've got quite a few videos coming out at the minute, and a lot of them are going down very very well indeed. I have to thank you for the immense support you guys have shown uh, my channel when uh, when FIFA 14 has been about Gareth Barry. No, thank you. You're awful. I don't want you. 45 pace, worst excuse for a footballer. And we've got another staff member that's a duplicate. This time it's Miss Kalinski. Sorry, dear. You're going to uh, you're going to have to be discarded. But uh, yeah, you guys have been absolutely fucking superb when it comes to support for this channel recently. Honestly, I cannot thank you enough. I'm recording this on Sunday, the 6th of October, just after seeing West Brom draw 1-1 with Arsenal. And as of now, we've actually gained almost in fact over 400 subscribers since the start of FIFA 14 two weeks ago which is absolutely insane honestly that is some mental growth as we uh, as we get a Sven Bender in that pack and Atletico Madrid Madrid Bidge a Madrid a Madrid badge is what I'm trying to say but uh, nothing too spectacular so far Kevin Prince Boateng is probably the best player probably go I think he goes for around about 4,000 coins three to 4,000 coins but if we can pull something else that uh, is a little bit more valuable in the next uh, 1500 FIFA points or so that would be very nice indeed Aquilani and Insigne a lot of people have been saying buy Insigne on my manager mode so I may have to look into him as we uh, we head into the January transfer window in that but uh, Aquilani decent player on the ball but not much pace I might give him a go, we'll have to wait and see. I don't have that many players in my club, obviously being a channel that does have the occasional squad builder, you don't really get the chance to uh, to have too many players in your club at the same time if you're not using a lot of FIFA points etc to open packs. You kind of need a constant turnover of players to make sure that you have the uh, the right sort of financial backing to be able to afford the different players that you have in your team. But uh, again, nothing in uh, in that pack. We've got a lot of squad fitness cards so far. Although there was some sort of consumable glitch apparently last week that uh, I was unaware of until uh, until this afternoon. Actually, I didn't see it all going down on Twitter, etc. So you have to let me know uh, if you guys were able to take advantage of that consumables glitch or if it's even fixed now. I've no idea. I'm not going to take advantage of it myself just because I I've don't know it's kind of OCD towards legitness I guess but uh, we pulled Moisander he had a, a team of the season card last year that was actually pretty decent uh, right back to right wing back won't go for anything whatsoever but uh, I, uh, I'm i hoping to pull something pretty decent from this pack opening whether it be in part one or part two a friend of mine uh, Peter you remember if uh, you did see the 200k 
uh, squad builder, the Brazilian one, I mentioned in that commentary that he lent me his Thiago Silva that he pulled in. That's we get Handanovic, another decent goalkeeper, goes for a little bit. Um, he actually lent me his Thiago Silva that he managed to pull in the pack. And he also, the other day, managed to pull in Isco and a Mesa Ertzil as well. So uh, I was tempted to just give him the fifteen, uh, the uh, 4,600 FIFA points. And with his pack luck, let him go and do all the uh, all the pack openings for me. But uh, I decided to go for it myself. Hopefully we can get some sort of pack luck that, uh, that my mate has had. And uh, we've had none so far. Brad Guzan, he hadn't even formed last week. Uh, another squad fitness card, although this time it's silver. Uh, Carlos City badge, not really going to go for anything, and a couple of random players. Felipe, I, uh, who was it that signed him? A team on, uh, a team on my manager most signed him, and he was actually quite good when I was coming up against them, and uh, he kept me out quite well. Although I think we did win that game in the end, but so uh, we've got just about eight or s eight to nine hundred FIFA points left to open in this particular part one of the pack opening. We're going for about five to six minutes now. So we pull Lamella. That is a very nice pull indeed. I'm not too sure what he goes for. In fact, let's let's have a quick look on the transfer market and see what he's going for. We'll compare the price. Uh, okay, that's glitched out. There definitely will be more than no lamellas on the market, but that will do. That's a decent a decent pull for this part one so far. Can you please go back to the thing? Thank you. Uh, we'll just back out of that, and then we'll send everything to club. Eric Lamella is very, very nice indeed. He's been fantastic for me on the uh, on the Tottenham career mode. If you don't uh, watch any of that series, I highly recommend you that you do. It's, in, uh, it's extremely enjoyable to play this year career mode, more so than any other year, actually. And the career mode series... The career mode series has been going down incredibly well. The uh, the first series of which is over 5,000 views now, which is absolutely superb. And a lot of the uh, a lot of the episodes, so we get the engine at chemistry style. A lot of those episodes are over, well over a thousand views now as well, which uh, is absolutely wonderful. That definitely seems to be the most popular uh, series on my channel at the minute. Although the couple of the past couple of squad builders have gone down particularly well as well. So hopefully we can continue that level of success on the channel and continue to grow in the near future as uh, we get another player that isn't really worth that much. Not really uh, too sure who Fafana is. Does he have any skill moves? No, too. He might go for a little bit, you never know. Uh, we've got a, a duplicate. Is that a badge? Yeah, Levante badge. They actually pushed Real Madrid very, very close indeed the other day. Uh, Madrid were 2-1 down after 86 minutes. And then Morata and Ronaldo both scored in added on time at the end of the second half to get Real Madrid a 3-2 win. And I know a lot of people were absolutely delighted with that because it meant that the, their Akers were still intact. So you get Kune, the goalkeeper, again another pack with not really much in it, a marksman chemistry style. But it uh, looks like Lamella is going to be the best player we're going to get in this first half of uh, of the pack opening. Uh, I am going to uh, try and wrap it up whilst I'm still opening packs in the background. So thank you very much for watching this part one, guys. Please do feel free to leave the video a like if you could be so kind. That would be absolutely superb. Of course, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, that would be absolutely wonderful. As I'm recording this, I'm very close to pushing through the 2,700 subscriber mark, although by the time you see it, I probably will have passed that. And uh, who knows where we'll be uh, where by the time this goes up. But... Uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. I will actually... Let's open one more, so it's around this one off. But please do feel free to leave the video a like, and uh, I will see you next time.